What's going on, moviegoers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. Sandman and Rhino are apparently going to be getting their own spinoff movies by Sony. Interesting. Interesting. Now, we all know Sony's over there doing their own stuff, right? They're having the time of their lives making their own Spider-Man villain universe, you know, started with Venom, Venom about to be Carnage, we got Morbius, and we got Craven the Hunter, and then, you know, the list goes on and on, right? This doesn't surprise me. With Spider-Man No Way Home coming out, right, next month, the Sinister Five, it's, it's, it's been rumored that there will only be five of them, and that's because they are going to be doing their own Sinister Six movie. So if you throw in all six of the Sinister Six in the Spider-Man No Way Homie, well, you're, you're already kind of doing the Sinister Six movie. Right? Doesn't make sense. So with them holding out on that fifth member gives them the idea of doing their own film. But I just don't get where you would go with a Rhino movie. And who would want to be seeing a Rhino movie? You know what I'm talking about? Like, what Rhino are you going to be introduced? Because I heard he's going to be mentioned in Spider-Man No Way Home. He's going to be mentioned. I don't know if Paul Giamatti is coming back for that particular role. But if I'm being honest with you guys, I want to see something entirely different. I don't like that rhino. It was goofy. It was, I don't know. Like, I want to see the massive rhino. Not in a tech suit, but I want to see him big and ginormous. Like, you know, in his gray rhino suit. That's what I want to see. You know, I think the Spider-Man game, no, Miles Morales, really did a fantastic job you know, with the way Rhino looks. So if we can get something like that, it, it's possible. You know what I'm talking about? Because I, that, that whole Paul Giamatti and, you know, Amazing Spider-Man 2 was kind of corny and geeky. I, I'll admit, you know, it just wasn't for me. But with Sandman, a whole Sandman spinoff movie? Like, look, I, I'm not saying it, it can't be good. You know, I'm not saying that. You know, they, they, they made a Venom movie without Spider-Man and Turned out to be a huge hit at the box office. You know, Venom to be Carnage. You know, they had Carnage in there, so he was going to pick against that. But, you know, it, it's interesting to see how far you can go with these villains for, for their own solo movies without having Spider-Man in it. You know what I'm talking about? It's just kind of weird, you know? I don't know if Sony plans on to bring Miles Morales eventually into their universe. You know, it's just, it, it's getting tricky with the timelines and the whole multiverse thing. Because now that Venom is in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and now that you're getting... You know, these returning characters from, you know, the original Chili from Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man. Now they're all into one. So, essentially, you can't just have a Sony universe anymore because that doesn't exist. Because now that exists in the world of the MCU. So, it wouldn't just be Sony doing these movies. It would be Kevin Feige and, and Disney, right? That's, that's, that's where I get conflicted. I'm like, well, wh what's happening with that? You know what I'm talking about? You know, I, we still don't know what universe Morbius takes place in. Although we did see Vulture in there. Vulture's in the MCU. So does Morbius officially take place in the MCU? So that's still a Sony movie? It, it, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's crazy, but you know, I'm still looking forward to see how all this is going to fit into the bigger picture of them possibly doing a Sinister Six movie in the future. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, apparently uh, Michael Keaton's Vulture was coming back to shoot some scenes. Don't know what that is for. I don't know if he's going to be making an appearance in Spider-Man No Way Home. If he does, that would make him the sixth villain, right? So I don't know what's going to happen or if Mysterio is going to come back. You know, it, it, it's, I'm, look, it's a little crazy, but I can get behind the idea of a Sinister Six movie. You know what I'm talking about? You know, especially when you're trying to do a whole Spider-Man versus the Sinister Six. I've been saying this is day one. A Spider-Man versus the Sinister Six is a huge blockbuster movie. And you have a star-studded cast with all these great actors returning from Alfred Molina, from William Dafoe, you know, Jamie Foxx. You know, the list goes on and on. Jake Gyllenhaal, it can be wonders as long as it's done right. So please, I'm curious to know you guys' thoughts and opinions on Sony potentially doing a spinoff film for Sandman and the Rhino. And would you guys like to see them completely reboot the Rhino? Or do you think they should call up Paul Giamatti and be like, hey, do you want to come back and play the Rhino? But thoughts and opinions, you guys, please push your comments down below. I'm curious to know you guys. Please. Peace.